Hello, everybody. We're back. Now. Why is my encoding overloaded? There we go. Always encode overload a bit. As you can see here, uh, we're in the middle of the fight. Now, why are we in the middle of the fight? I have been grinding out this fight for like two weeks now. Yeah, you know, just spending like an hour or two here or there. And this is the closest I have gotten in a win in like, I don't know, seven hours. And it's going to be incredibly painful for me to throw this fight because Like I said, this has taken me like seven hours to get to this point and I'm basically at a win But I wasn't recording it because I was recording it originally and then I had like 400 gigs of recording I just needed to throw the fuck out so yeah, this is basically me just saying we're back at it again and also I need to I have reminded myself that I probably need to free up some space on my hard drive All right, let's pop this bitch open As you can see I've in fact done quite well for myself. I've got a full unbounded counter ready to go and he's so close to dead. I even learned how to do this. Look at this. Ah. Oh. Okay. Kill me, you son of a bitch. End my life. Do it. Look at I even had my res still. Are you out of your fucking mind? Why didn't I record before that run? Oh. By the way, I'm going to say it. A lot of that run was a fluke. Like, a lot of that run was a fluke. But, I've learnt things. You saw me do that double into the Unbounded? Brother, have you seen how I've been complaining about Unbounded? If I can do that shit, I can do anything. I can conquer worlds. I can move mountains. I can be suspicious of my oddly quiet dog. Anyway. That wasn't great. Yep, drag. Fucking hate that attack so much. No, I was early. And did the drag again. How dare you, honestly. And the stab. Yep. Yeah, he was, see, he was going to do the drag again. He's out for blood this time because I was talking about how I kicked his ass last time. It's just the way it is. Okay, I fucked that one up, but it's fine. Drag, yep. Thank you. Unbounded. Eat pants. And then... That's how you do it. Okay. Almost full health. Still got a res. Got our little Healy nugget there. That shit. Never mind. Things aren't good. Oh! Even got it off when it mattered, baby. It's one thing to be able to get it off, another one to be able to get it off when you're actually, you know, continuing the run. Come on, Fuxi, you son of a bitch. Okay, that's drag. Drag is fine. Less fine. Okay, we're cruising. Okay, one, two. I did it! I thought I fucked it up that time. I was so sure I fucked it up that time. No! This one really. I threaded the needle. I've never threaded the needle before. Gotta get out of here. See you later, Fuxi. Sick dodge. Charge me. Yep. Come on, you bastard. Oh, he's a machine, he's an animal! Oh my god, he's a fucking menace! Don't throw, don't throw. For the love of god, do not throw. Where am- What the fuck was that? That was- 
brother that was the game nerfing me there what the fuck was that i i'm telling you right now one my ass was jumping two the camera did not move to me that was some horse shit is what that was God damn it. See, it would have been so good. I would have come back with an immediate win. And a damn good win, too. But no, game had to nerf me. After all my practice, he couldn't just let me have that? Like, come on. Yeah, fine. Do your drag. You absolute asshole. <laughs> Unbounded. Thank you, sir. I need one more hit, please. Yeah, like that. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one either. Don't do it. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. He almost did the drag on me. And that's going to be phase one. Yep. We charge and we wait. And we go. And we run. I am fucking with this attack. That's perfect. That's good RNG right there. Drag, yep. Ooh, the instant turn. Oh shit. It's fine. I still got it, baby. I still got it. It's all that matters. No! I didn't get it off in time. I hate that one so much. Okay, we're cruising. I hate you. <laughs> I would like to get my thing. Thank you. Boom, boom, boom. Good enough. Oh my god. Stop it with the fucking daggers, you bitch. <gasps> Again? Fine, the ball's good, whatever. The daggers again. See, that dagger attack's fine. Do that one. I would like to no longer be in the corner, though, if you don't mind. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Never mind, you put baby in the corner. Boom, boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Just go. Yes! You're not used to heal. You've got one left, you should just use it. Thread it, thread it, thread it. We threaded it. Drag. It's fine. Oh, the goat! Yes! Oh, it's over. Fuck you, Fuxi. Please don't tell me there's a phase three. Please, God. Nope, his mask popped off. He is a hideous mess. Oh, no. Please don't. Okay, no, we're good. Yeah, your brother's not very handsome at the moment, is he? No, no, what have you done? Fuxi! Th these guys get no sympathy. Fuck these guys. Uh, I put so much effort into his makeup. That's what you care about? His corpse is almost completely decayed. Before liftoff, he was already in a... Shut up. So what? He'll be full of cured as long as he keeps getting his shots. Fuxi. Don't listen to him. No Kunlun has done away with sickness, old age, and death. We'll stay here together until the end of time. We promised as much. Once you get better, Fuxi, let's go to the theater together, okay? He's gonna explode or something. Yep.
You two are just horribly irresponsible people, and I do not feel for you. Also, you got that whole weird incest thing going on. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's finally Jova. Jeffa. Jeffa, baby, I did it. Oh, she's not even there. I just heard her make a noise. I heard little pitter patters. Don't dwell on it. This isn't their fault, and it's definitely not yours. Oh, there she is. Hello. I felt a fluffy thing against my leg. Beautiful. Just as our clan's lead actress should be. Hey, you're that lady that killed me. I am developing a new cure, but I can make an exception and let your brother try it out. Something told me that shit didn't work. Time for your shop, Fuxi. You'll be better in no time. And there they are. Hmm. These feelings emerge in a haze, but they deepen with each passing day. Yeah, they were definitely fucking. Jaffa. Uh, sorry, pineapple's got to be confiscated. Why do you only play with the pineapple when I'm recording, huh? Is it because you know I'll annoy you to take it off you? Is that why? Is that why? Little turd. And we're back to the banger. The soul seal is the greatest symbol of power, blah, blah, blah. No soul seal containing the character gang signifies selflessness. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> Those two are selfish as fuck. Uh, though you may seem frivolous, Fuxi was a responsible man and took his duties as the head of the clan seriously. He used his wealth to great effect, placing confidence all across New Kunlun, filling the warehouses with his personal goods. He tried to breathe new life into the Feng clan until he succumbed to an early death from the Tianhao virus. He could still make noises after taking Igong's treatment, but it could hardly be called talking. Nua, one of the ten souls of, in the council and minister of the Imperial District, along with her twin brother. Unable to accept the death of her brother, Nua used the serum Igon provided to keep Fuxi's body alive. Like many Solarians facing the end, she chose to indulge in entertainment, numbing her emotions and allowing her to ignore reality until the very end. And we got two left, baby. And we got box. It's in the box. Tianhao serum. Interesting. Do you require any assistance, my lord? It appears Fuxi was receiving some kind of treatment. I found some vials of blood serum in Nua's room. It might have something to do with the Tianhao mutants. That's great news. Our researchers hit a bottleneck. But this new discovery might lead to a breakthrough. If you can, please bring it back to the Four Seasons Pavilion. I'll be able to use my instruments to analyze its contents. Got it. Brother, I was gonna do that. Goodbye, banger music. Oh! What are you doing here? Can I deflect that? Oh my god, did I just take his head off? No, I just broke some of the spikes, okay. This is very good environmental storytelling though, because it's showing you how it kind of spreads and reproduces. I'm assuming outside is going to be much worse than when I went in. Technically, I was there for like 30 seconds, but in reality, I was there for a long time. Can't get through this way. I'm assuming that if we give the antidote thing to our boy, he's going to give us a way to, you know, mince through this area a little. Okay, we are, we're just going to go. Take me to the pavilion. I don't want none of this smoke. Also, technically, I'm going to call it. I'm going to say I beat that fight three times in a row. Oh. <gasps> oh, look at him. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so fucking cute. It's so cute. And there's flowers everywhere. It's snowing. Hey, buddy. 
Why haven't I seen a Solarian that's my age? Doesn't your tribe have any kids here? They're all in hibernation. Does that mean they're sleeping? I really want to meet them. The only thing is, will they like me? We're kind of different. Don't worry, you're very likable, unlike when I was a kid. If you get the chance, I'm sure you'll get along with them fine. If you get the chance. What have I got for you? The Peng Lai right? <gasps> We're gonna teach him to cook. Chuan Chuan, we need to cook. I think you'll like this book. Let me see. Two sky peppers, one caddy of fish rice. Oh, this is a recipe. Not just any old recipe. It's a collection of recipes from the best chefs on Peng Lai. Hm, I get it now. This is just a way for you to complain about the food I make. These recipes seem a little over the top. I mean, carve a radish into the shape of a dragon? That's not gonna make it taste better. <laughs> Traditional aristocratic cooking emphasizes both flavor and presentation. Is this what you used to eat? Not really. I came from a Taoist family. We made do with simple meals. What? You did all that explaining and then you tell me you never had any before? That may be true, but we still had a lot of choices. What's the best dish you ever had in your life? I might be able to make it. That'd be Phoenix egg fried rice using leftover rice. Forgot how long it's been since I last had it. You should have told me earlier. Egg fried rice is easy. I'll make some for you next time. I think you're better off not trying. I'd prefer to keep those delicious memories intact. Wow, you absolute shit talker. That's very impolite. I'm going to rest and see if he cooks. Oh, it's um, our boy's mask back there. I didn't even notice it. Okay, is he cooking up a storm? No, he ain't doing nothing. Okay. Igong, that's his name. Abacus, I have a gift. You have returned, my lord. Is this the blood serum? I shall begin the analysis right away. Lord Yi, Lord Kwafu, I have completed my analysis on the blood serum. I must say that the results are full of twists, turns, and some unexpected developments. Stop beating around the bush and get to the point. Yes, my lord. Instead of being an antidote to the Tianhao, it instead changes its form. It's basically a catalyst for the continued mutation of the Tianhao. Is that why they all turned into monsters? All because of the serum injections? The mutant's condition itself is also infectious, so I can't confirm the exact number of those that were infected through that vector. If you're required, I can give an estimate using simulations. No need. Not when we've already confirmed the source. Who would deliberately do such a tedious thing? Think about it. Who has done the most research on the Tianhao? Who was the technology to do this? The answer is obvious. Ai Gong? This doesn't seem like something she would do. Why? Who knows? But I'll be hearing from her soon. Abacus, can you find a way to eliminate these living corpses? They keep regenerating. On that subject, I have good news and bad news. Start with the bad news. Who would ever want to hear the bad news first? You gotta start with the good news. That kind of negativity will be your ruin. Abacus, what's the good news? <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay, fuck you. Maybe I wanted, you know, like a good news, bad news sandwich. Like, we figured out what's causing the mutations. Life is fucked. But there's a glimmer of hope. Good news is that we have indeed discovered their weakness. If we know the genetic sequence responsible for their regeneration, we can permanently destroy it. The bad news is that these mutants are in an amalgamation of different genetic sources, making it impossible to trace the original genetic sequence. Does that mean we need to find the original cells? Where should we start? Based on my calculations, these cells were obtained from a Solarian, one that ages very slow. Hold on. I believe we've already killed that gentleman. Like the imprisoned Quang Kang Hui? Ah, could it actually be Yi? You haven't aged ever, ever since the incident. My apologies, but I've already run those tests. Neither Kang Hui's or, nor Yi's genetics correspond. Oh yeah, we got his hair, didn't we? Are you sure it's not Yi? Try running the tests again. He has all the most enigmatic body in all of New Kunlun. Lucky for us. I have something that might come in handy. This is Yi's hair. Lord Yi's hair? Analyze it. These might be the cells we've been looking for. Please wait patiently, my lord, as I run the comparison system. So that's what we needed his weird hair for. Okay. Looking. As you had predicted, Lord Yi, G's cells in the regenerating gene sequence from the Tianhao mutant form a 99.97% match. Based on this data, I've successfully discovered a way to break into their mutant cores. 
I've designed a special device, and now as long as you add it to your talisman system, these monsters will no longer be an obstacle to you. What materials will you need for this device? The way it functions is simple, and the materials are readily available, but the work required to make it is extremely complex. It should only be attempted by an exceptional craftsman, familiar with basic mechanical principles. Are you saying that in front of me on purpose? Save me your flattery and give me the blueprints already. Of course, I shall leave this to you, Lord Quafu. <laughs> you gotta gas your boy up a little. Jesus. Done. Let's get this on you. The Super Mutant Buster. A special device designed by Abacus and modified by Quafu. Its name demonstrates Quafu's unique tastes. Fully integrating to use talisman systems, this device trigger automatically upon talisman detonation, destroying the mutant's cause and granting them eternal rest. You really don't have a knack for names. It might look simple, but parts of it were really tricky to make. Nothing I couldn't handle, though. Much obliged. I'm not going to insult my boy. <laughs> it was nothing. I helped too. More like helped get in the way. Well, I guess he did contribute a tiny bit. See? You two have been getting along pretty well. You're imagining things. We have a fundamentally different beings, and eight men will only be eight men. But let's not get sidetracked. You know how to use it, right? I've already set all the parameters. The device will trigger automatically upon contact, releasing a surge of energy that will burst inside the mutant. Should basically work just like your talisman system. Okay, I can finally deal with the living corpses in the Empyrean district. I can also help with the living corpses thing, yeah? You will stay right here while I conduct my business. If you get bored, ask Uncle Chubby to play with you. You're really good at making life difficult for others. I love it. I love the Yi plushie so much. Look at it. It's so fucking cute. In fact, you know, I'm going to take a screenshot of that and I'm going to send that shit to dust. Hell yeah. Okay, anyway. With that, we're going to rest. We're going to see if the it cycles the time. Then we're going to see if my boy... He's cooked up. He has cooked up a storm. Let's go. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, good. You're back. Just in time, Yi. The food's still hot. Where did all this food come from? Remember those recipes you gave me last time? Well, Uncle Chubby mentioned that he missed the food from Penglai, so I tried making some. I'm going to call him over. Don't just stand there. Sit down and eat with us. Now oh, isn't the time to relax. I need to hurry and... Having a meal won't take up that much time. He's right. You should eat. Uncle Chubby's into it. This tastes pretty good. Not bad for an ape man. What do you think, Yi? It's funny. I'd have never thought that with everything that's going on, I'd be able to sit down and have a proper meal. Knowing that death is always around the corner the moment I leave this pavilion. Yeah, if you think about it, it's all pretty absurd. If you like, I can do a lot more cooking for you in the future. The future? Yi, I've been thinking. Can we go on a trip somewhere one day? Where do you want to go? I don't know, but I think it'd be fun to travel and hang out with everyone. Abacus can make the plans, Uncle Chubby can deal with the equipment, and I can be the chef. What's my job? You will be in charge of chatting with me. <laughs> I guess the possibilities are just endless with us four together. I don't mean to interrupt, but how should I approach the dish in the middle here? Oh, I actually never finished that dish. It's not finished? I couldn't find one of the required ingredients. It needs a sated heart. Do you know where I can find one of those, Uncle Chubby? A sated heart? It would probably be better if you don't finish making it. But they call this dish the Peachy Primate Paradise. That sounds fun. No, listen to your Uncle Chubby. Do not ever make this dish. Why? Do you guys not like it? Yeah, it's become impossible to think of eating it now. Ah. Soylent Green is people. Okay. Well, that will we be where we end off this one here. And you know what? It was a damn good time. I am very pleased with my progress for this one. Sure, did I only beat one boss? Yes. But what you didn't see is the seven hours in between and the fact that I managed to get him three times in a row. I'm calling it three times in a row. I don't give a shit. We're ending this episode off here. Watching the beautiful sunset. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.